please arise. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in lowly exile until the Son of God appears. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Let us begin this celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. This Mass is offered for the repose of soul of Charles Granay. Brothers and sisters, as we come around the altar of the Lord to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let's call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, to my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who seeing the human race fallen into death, willed to redeem it by the coming of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that those who confess his incarnation with humble fervor may merit his company as the Redeemer, who lives and reigns in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Hannah brought Samuel with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine, and presented him at the temple of the Lord in Shiloh. After the boy's father had sacrificed the young bull, Hannah, his mother, approached Eli and said, Pardon, my Lord. As you live, my Lord, I am the woman who stood near you here praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted my request. Now I, in turn, give him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be dedicated to the Lord. She left Samuel there the word of the Lord. My heart exults in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exults in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on straight. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on, spo on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the soul of the Lord. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. 
The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make, glorious, make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. O King of all nations and keystone of the church, Come and save man whom you formed from the dust. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary said, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to help of his servant Israel for remember his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. This is the prayer called Magnificat said every evening while praying the Vespers in the church. All around the world, this prayer is said during the evening prayer. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Such a beautiful hymn. This hymn, when we say in a meaningful way, it addresses many areas of our life. First and foremost reminds us how grateful I am to God. How grateful I am to God for all the goodness he has done in my life. And for Mary, a humble woman, a meek woman, compared to the first reading, the song of Hannah, God lifts up somebody lonely the question we need to ask ourselves, what are the areas I need to be lifted up, where I need to be driven up to God so that I see the power of God at the same time see my own powerlessness? Today, the big difficulty the human world faces is I can do this, I can do that, I am all powerful. Man puts himself time and again in the center of achievement and we can do great things. There are plenty of books about motivation, plenty of books about self-discipline, and plenty of books about medicine. We know right at this moment in this, we are all facing this pandemic all over the world 
billions of people affected by this. But we have no answer, clear-cut answer. You can take this, there's a cure for this, and you'll be out of this pandemic. But the human mind says, we are all powerful. We can do this. But the divine mind says, look up and see how great the Lord in our lives. I'm pretty sure you all watched that Jupiter and Saturn coming together. Such an event happened 800 years ago. In 1226, they say, this type of events only happens once in several years. To look at those stars, the planets, Saturn and Jupiter, coming in together, facing each other, we can ask, there's something great beyond this creation of God, a great mind of God. He's all-powerful. Whenever our mind thinks, I have a solution for a problem, the great solution we can have is that God is in absolute control. As we are closer to Christmas, may our heart proclaim the greatness of Lord in our lives. At the same time, along with Mary, pray and to acknowledge our weakness, our humbleness, our helplessness. With God, everything is possible. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Our response will be graciously hear us, O Lord, that the church may grow stronger as a result of a member's determination to live more fully in conformance with the teaching of Jesus. Let's pray to the Lord. Graciously hear us, O Lord, that those suffering from disease may be happy and know the joy of this holiday season. In spite of the illness, let us pray to the Lord. Graciously hear us, O Lord. The parish members may be God's love personified as we strive to bring goodwill to others. Let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the world, for the unemployed and underemployed, for our troops from an end to abortion and euthanasia, and for the ill of our parish, especially those on a prayer list, let's pray to the Lord. For those intentions are most dear to us, which we lift up at this time in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Especially pray for Charles Chuck Granny, for whom this Mass is intended. Let us pray to the Lord. Let's pray for Carolyn Deering, Jerry Turin, Dolores Mann, Maria Benincasa, Lisa Morrissey, Matthew Cummings, George Dublino, Dominic Colantonio, Gerard Hain, Susan Greg Diane E, Peter Han, Michael Blake, Edward Schaff, Adriana, Amanda Harrismuk, Anne Oleski, Jay Dinan, Robert Farina. Let us pray to the Lord. <laughs> Father in heaven, hear the prayers of your loving children. Grant that all that is cons consistent with your will. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Come with my father, my sacrifice, bless to you, Lord God. And wash my iniquity, cleanse me from our sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered William's passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread And drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks and held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Charles, whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united in son and death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, St. Francis, St. Clare, St. Anthony, St. John the Evangelist, John of the Cross, Teresa of Avila, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. 
True him and with him and in him. O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command from the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, by help of your mercy. We may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your pastors, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant a peace and unity accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy they should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit to be separated from you.
Let us pray. May the reception of your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so we may go out to meet our Savior with worthy deeds when he comes and merit the reward of the blessed through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Amen. And have a blessed day. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that moans in lowly exile here, until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel.